Welcome to part two. Now, Mutai Ngunyi is on record as having criticized uh, David D. And uh, he said that David D. has changed over the years, yeah, because uh, he used to be uh, rightist and now he's very leftist, yeah. In other words, he's uh, metamorphosed, yeah. Now, before we go any further, let me just break down that Kizungumig, yeah. <laughs> What does somebody mean when they say right-wing politics and left-wing politics or somebody's leftist, somebody's... <laughs> yeah, what does it mean? Very quickly, uh, left-wing politics supports uh, social equality, yeah? Uh, while right-wing uh, politics is more conservative, yeah? Pro-establishment. It is interesting that the term left and right in politics were first used uh, during the French Revolution and it referred to the sitting arrangements in the French Parliament where those who sat on the right were more pro-establishment, you know, the monarchy, uh, institutions, and so on, while those who sat on the left, to put it in Kenyan terms, were more pro wananchi you know, benefits to the wananchi you know, the kind of economics that uh, benefits the vast majority of people, the kind of policies that benefit the vast majority of people, etc., etc. Now, of course, this criticism is uh, absolutely not true, yeah, Although it is important to note here that uh, confusion can come in uh, because it's possible for a person to support uh, an idea or a policy that may appear right-wing, yeah, and then the next minute they support one that is uh, leftist. Yeah? But uh, at the end of the day, what you're looking at is the general uh, thinking and the general direction of the man you're talking about. Any, what was most interesting was a small comment uh, Dr. David Dean made about Mutai Nguyenyi. Yeah, he said that uh, what Mutanguji had said about him was not true, and uh, he, he just <laughs> he said that uh, Mutanguji is probably after some political objectives. He's following some political object objectives. Yeah, insinuating that as the man follows his political objectives, maybe he's being economical with the truth. Yeah, and the true picture. Then came what, in my view, was the most interesting question uh, in the entire interview. Yeah. Uh, the interview asked uh, uh, Ndi, um, you know, whether he really cares about his family, you know, uh, because what he's doing is risky. If something happens to him, what will happen to his family? Ndi's response was uh, interesting, yeah, fascinating actually, yeah, because he said people make choices, yeah, and then you have to live with the consequences of your choices, yeah. Of course, he added that uh, others sometimes die even without making a choice. And he mentioned uh, uh, Bonham Sando's name, uh, Chris Sando, and he also mentioned the poor little kids who were shot uh, by police during the troubles or after the August 8th elections. And he even went on to talk about his arrest, yeah, and uh, well, he said that uh, <laughs> there was a time during, you know, during the whole episode that uh, he thought in his mind that uh, this could be it, yeah, that that was the end of his life, yeah. The long and short of it is uh, that this man has prepared himself yeah, for whatever eventuality. Yeah. Yeah, the whole concept here is to fight for a better Kenya, whatever the consequences. Folks, the country called Kenya needs many more people like this. Yeah. On the swearing-in, uh, it is very interesting that uh, uh, after the swearing-in, the whole plan is that the committee, everybody who's involved in that swearing in, are going to surrender themselves to the nearest police station, yeah, and uh, ask to be arrested, yeah, if they have committed any crime. Because, according to Dr. Ndi, and he has insisted, uh, the swearing in of Raila Odinga is going to be completely, totally, absolutely legal. There will be no iota of uh, illegality in it, okay? I think that is uh, interesting because there are a lot of people who have argued, in fact prominent people, who are arguing that uh, the swearing-in is uh, treason, okay? Excellent interview in my uh, view, okay, in my opinion, okay? And of course, uh, Dr. David D. is a true Kenyan. I take off my heart for him, yeah? Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. <music>